Hi guys, uh, my name is Junaid, welcome to my channel. This is my first YouTube video, so do bear with me. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Eufy battery powered video doorbell 2K HD resolution video doorbell. So this is the, door, this is the doorbell. The company is called Anchor. So this is one of their many sort of products that they've got. I've been using this for, for about three months now. Now when I say unboxing, it's not going to be the, my first ever unboxing. I have unboxed it before and I have been like so I've been using it for three months. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put back in a few of the major items so that you know what's sort of inside. So um, I'm going to go into a lot of detail with this anyway. Um, but obviously just off the bat, you know, it's 2K resolution. It says 180 days battery life, free and secure local storage. Works with Google Assistant and Amazon Alexa. Um, it says battery powered but you can hardwire it. I've currently got it, my, I've currently got it mine on, on a um, battery powered, um, but I will eventually look to go ahead and hardwire it um, at some point. Um, on this, you know, you can live view uh, and recording history, you can view all of that. Um, you get instant notification, uh, you get multi-user access, you get advanced AI human detection, activity zones, reduce false, notification and two-way audio uh, you've got an app that you can download on your smartphone on android or um, apple uh, software as well so you've got 2k resolution you've got 180 days battery life ip65 weatherproof free 16 gigabyte local storage um, obviously if you go back 2k resolution yes you can have a 2k resolution um, you can have it towards a um, the sort of aspect ratio is about 2560 to about 1920. You can also have it as on full HD 180p. Battery life, I'll get into. IP65 weatherproof, so you can leave it on the snow, rain, hail, wind, or whatever, whatever you please. Uh, free local, free local uh, 16 gig of storage. Uh, this it stores in the home base, home base two. So you know. Say for example, this gets robbed, for example, um, no one will, will be able to see your uh, footage because it's all stored locally inside your home, in the home base too, uh, which is a neat feature. Um, also, um, a lot of people think that once the 16 gig is filled up, um, that's it, you can't, you know, you can't uh, store anymore or you need something else to move it over, you need to transfer the files over and then you can have freedom. No, how it works is after a certain period of time, the files do get deleted. So then, you know, you're, you, you're never kind of in the, you're never out of space. You're, you've always got recording going on, um, which, is, which is a great touch. And if you want to, you can save the videos as well onto your phone or you can, you can save it on, um, on, on the cloud or you can transfer it over to anywhere else, it's entirely up to you. You can also take snippets of, of, of say for example, you're recording, it's recording and you wanna take a picture of, of a person, for example, you can press on the, on the app and go into the app and then press the camera button um, and, then, um, and then it will take a snapshot as well. Um, it's got facial snapchat notification, it's got, you can respond in, in, in real time, you know, you can, you can have a two-way conversation with someone um, and it works with, with, with a lot of, sort of voice and it works with voice assistant as well so you can speak to it as well and you can kind of dictate as to what you want to do. This is my first purchase of a security camera um, and a lot of people have been, have been asking me about um, having security cameras because I think I was in the I was thinking about it as well thinking if I should get a security camera or not um, So I kind of went kind of went in deep and thinking you know what I'm gonna purchase one and I'm gonna see how it is and then I take it from there as well But let me do unboxing and then we'll get into the nitty-gritty side of things. Okay, so let's get to uh, unboxing so let's up, take this off and Let's open this up so you're greeted with the uh, Ufa Scooty Welcome Pack. Uh, in here, you've got the Quick Start Guide. That's that. And then you've also got the uh, stickers. Put that to 
one side. So let's get this out. And then, then you've got the, the actual machine or the machines. So um, first of all, you've got the UFI doorbell itself. Now, this doorbell, you know, it's great make. Um, the build quality is solid. Um, it's nice, it's, it's sturdy, it's not very light, it's quite, it's not even heavy actually, but you can feel the weight on it. Um, it's, it's, it's a very good build quality. You can, you know for a fact there is no water or anything is, is going to go into this at all. Um, you got the camera there, um, either 2K resolution or uh, the 180p. Um, and you know, you've got the charging port here, which obviously you can take out. And then you stick your wire in there, let it charge. And these two are for hard wiring it onto the main electricity. And then you've got another button here to sync it as well. Um, so that you can sync this to your home base. Um, so then that's that. Like I said, great build, really good quality. This comes, this ring, um, lights up this little ring here so if i actually if i press it you probably can hear it so if i press the doorway and it's quite loud as well so yeah it's a really nice touch the chime does ring on here it also does ring on the um, home base too as well um so and you can have existing um, chimes as well and then this is the home base itself um so the home base you know it's small compact you know it's not huge it doesn't take a lot of space um, this lights up as well uh, once, once it's connected um, on the back you've got the the mains you've got the USB to charge uh, and then you've also got the Ethernet cable as well which you which is which needs to be connected um, to your router um, and then you've also got the sync and um, turning the alarm off here as well, which is the bottom here. Um, these grills are for the speaker. You've also got another grill at the bottom as well. So this thing is very, it's, it's actually pretty loud to be honest. Um, I can hear it from upstairs, uh, if, and this is downstairs, most of, this is downstairs anyway. So I can hear from upstairs, even, even if I'm having a shower and the shower is running, I can still hear it. But this also stores locally. Um, 16 gig of, of storage, um, you know, it's, it, it records day and night. Let's see what else we got in the box. Let's get rid of this plastic. And then you're greeted with another box. And in this box, you've got, well, I sh it's not in this box, actually, but I left it here. Um, in this box, you have the mains cable. So this is where it connects to obviously your mains, this is down the plug. This can also be removed as well. Ah, there we go. For that. And then you can put in your two pin adapter, whack it in here. You've also got the charger, USB charger. And then you've also got the ethernet cable as well, which connects from your home base to your uh, router as well. And then you've also got the uh, You've got this, which is, you need this for um, hard wiring it to, to your home. Um, this is, the, like I said, this is a two pin um, adapter, which you can take off from the mains and then slot this in, very easy to do. Um, and then you've also got some extra bits of nails for um, having the mount installed. As well um, so it all depends so you've got you've got bigger screws for the angled one and you've got smaller screws for the just the standard um, front facing um, mount as well um, this is the um, angled one so as you can see it's more thicker so you probably you'll need thicker screws um, and also you can have it this way you can have it that way and then you've also got the pin as well which you need um, so this is the pin so you, you need to this is for um, on, on latching the actual doorbell from the mount. And that is pretty much everything that you get in the box. So this is how the actual um, app looks. Um, so obviously the, the screen here shows you your last sort of screenshot of your last recording. So if I just click that, that'll show live as just to what's showing. 
um, and then you've also got um, you know you've got settings here so these these are the settings that, that you've got here um, currently obviously it's my battery that's left um, you can name it whatever you want um, you know you can have the you can either have the status LED on which is which is the uh, the LED that goes around you can either have that on and off you can have auto night vision on which you would want you would want on um, you've also got the uh, logo watermark you can either have that on or on, off um, the main things on this would be obviously the motion detection um, detection mode on or off so if you want any sort of detection of um, any sort of detection triggering then you can either select on and off on that you can either set you can also set up an activity zone as well um, which is which is quite good so obviously currently I've got it I've got it like that um, so obviously you know you can you can just edit that if you wanted to so if you want to edit that you can either just move those around however you want it um, so, so obviously this is this is, I usually have this outside hence why it's it's like this but um, obviously I've got it I've got it inside now for the for for this purpose you can set it up to human only or you can have it on all motion obviously I've currently got it on on, on human only um, because um, I don't want I don't want it detecting everything obviously I, I don't want any sort of cars um, you know if, if I'm pulling up in my, in my driveway I don't want it to sort of detect that I only want it to, I only want it to sort of detect um, any sort of human activ activity uh, because all motion you can also have it detecting like any sort of cats or dogs or any sort of bird flying um, sometimes even like even like little flies going around because it's very very sensitive and yes I have I have lowered the sensitivity down as well um, but sometimes that's that doesn't always fix it um, so you can you can either have it like you can, you can either have sensitivity either either high or even low whichever way so I've currently got it at mine on medium and the power manager is the battery um, so this shows how many days I've used it so as you can see it was a full charge I've used 40% of it and I used it for 44 days now I know I said previously that UFI, well UFI have said that it lasts up to about 180 days okay now that's not true um, I've tried it on but I've tried it on pretty much a lot of the settings um, and it doesn't doesn't give me even half of that to be to be honest with yourself um, uh, so so yes yeah, so obviously look as you can see it's got a total de detected events 6062 false events filtered by the AI so yes yeah, so it does use artificial intelligence and it does filter out any sort of false events for and it's, it's done about 5629 and recorded and saved events so it's recorded 433 events which obviously I can look to delete um, now obviously I, I know you got you got different working modes here now you know you can either have it on optimal which is just doorbell only no motion what UFI recommends and what a lot of people recommend as well is having unbalanced surveillance um, and this also records clips up to about 30 seconds and the system automatically adjusts and, and uh, detection and adjusts the detection time period to reduce the chance of detecting the same object twice in a short period um, that's not really been the case for me to be, to be honest um, when I've had it on, on this um, I've had it on both motion and human and human was not detected at all um, for, I, don't, I don't know why this happened if I'm honest with yourself um, to to the start of it um, it was detecting human and motion but gradually I don't know about a month or two afterwards about two months afterwards actually it didn't detect human at all um, I don't know why um, and then I reached out to Yuffie now I must say Yuffie online chat and their assistants are very very good um, you you speak to a you can speak to them on the online app you so on, on this on this app you can you can speak to them directly and um, you can you can have a chat with them and then you can so sort of see if they can answer any sort of questions of yours um, and then if they can't answer the question because most likely sometimes they don't always answer the questions because it is a bot that answers the questions for you and they are auto generated and um, so you ask something and then they'll give you something completely different uh, which is how bots usually work when I reached out to them um, they said to me have you on custom customized recording now um, video so on, on this you can customize as to how you want it but this 
on this I've not really customized it at all so I've just I just I just put it on and, and I thought let me see how it works um, so on this obviously video clip length and detection periods can be customized obviously motion is detected more frequently and the battery will drain faster I've not really had the I've not really had the issue with this to be honest but if I was to go onto it and then I was to edit it you can you can edit the clip length as to how as to how you want it. you can have it from all the from five seconds all the way to 120 seconds and I've usually have it for about 60 seconds um, sometimes even even less than that for the time being it's fine um, like I said it does probably drain the battery quicker but um, I've I've only had it on this setting for for about a week, and so I want to see I want to see how it how it works and how it goes about. I want to see if it, if it's worse than obviously what I've got um, or what I had currently. So that's the power manager side. Um, you've also got the audio settings. Um, you know you can you can do a two way talk, quick response. Um, you've got the double ringtone volume. Then obviously you got your notification settings, you know, you can have doorbell ring, you can have motion detect, you can get detections, you can get notifications for all of those. You can have either, so um, the notification can, can consist of either efficiency, so it's just without any delay, so only text included, you can either have thumbnail. I like to look at thumbnails to actually have a quick look as to who's there. Um, and obviously you can have the full effect, but obviously I'm guessing that will take longer. Um, and obviously you've got the um, how you want the ring alerts, you've got motion alerts, you can either notify, you can either have it as, as a default as well, so you've got ring alerts, you can have a different sort of tones as well. You can also do a quick response as well, how it sounds from the doorbell actually, so I've got the doorbell here, so I've got leave outside the door if someone comes, so I'm going to say I'm going to play and see how it sounds. You've also got like a home base as well, so you can have like how much storage you've been used. So uh, I've, I've the clips I've used is one that a 1.94 gig, so totally is 14 and available is 12. So as you know, so I've used, um, so I've used, I believe it was over 400. So and it's only used just about two gig. So on here, you can choose to snooze it as well, which is really good. Say if you've got any sort of kids, and you don't want any sort of disturbance or anything of like that. So you can you can snooze. Um, the uh, the noises um, for either like 30 hour, two hours, six hours, 12 hours, however, however long you need it for and you won't get any sort of notification, you'll get silent notifications. You can also add devices as well. You've got like the help section as well. And obviously you've got different sort of aspects and different sort of cameras that you can have individual help for. And then obviously you've got your different events, you know, all your events come on here. Yeah. And what's, what's cool about this as well is that if it detects human, you get like a small little snapshot um, of, of, of that of that image as well so if you if you click on that so that's me and you can also get give access to any other person and then you've got like different sort of modes for security you can have home disarmed away geofencing schedule and you can customize it um, so I currently have it on home at the moment but if I'm if I'm away uh, like for, for example if I'm like on holiday you have it on on away and then you've got uh, you've got the UFI products um, sometimes on here they, they'll have a discount so currently at the moment they've got the Ufi Cam 2C 2 Cam Kit 40 pound off so, so Ufi have got quite a lot of products you you've also got baby monitors as well so that's pretty much the actual app itself so I'm going to show you how it triggers the camera detection so it's there so here it is There you go. You can view the um, sort of clip here, or you can view like a screenshot of it. And if you press it, and then you'll get obviously the camera recording there. So guys, so that was pretty much the unboxing and obviously the um, uh, the review of it as well. Um, you know, there's there's some there's some things that I, I did also want to sort of touch base on as well. Retail price for this is 179 pounds and 99 pence UK price. Now, when I got mine, it was on a discount, um, and I got mine from Curry's. But obviously, you can get it from Amazon, you can get it from Curry's, you can get it from the Ufi's website. I may uh, link uh, some links down down below. In terms of what I think of it, it I do like it. Um, it's it's a, it's a great bit of kit. Um, they've, they've done really, really well on it. 
um, in terms of AI, in terms of the camera, in terms of the doorbell. Um, I mean, ultimately it is a doorbell, so it does serve its purpose, but it's got obviously the added perks as well, um, recording and, and things like that as well. You know, I can see, I, I've got peace of mind. If I go out, I can see who's, if someone's there, someone's dropping up a parcel or anything like that. So I can see who's there. I can, um, I can tell them all to leave it in the porch or to leave it outside the, or in, in front of the wheelie bin if I, if I wanted to, you know, because I don't want to miss the parcel. What I don't like about it is definitely the, the battery. As I showed you guys, um, battery is not the greatest. Um, I would think that I would think that, you know, um, that how it says the 180 day battery, it's not really the case with that. Um, like I said, it doesn't even last me half, half of that. Um, that would be my, my only sort of downside. And the fact that when you're charging it actually, um, you have to take the whole uh, video doorbell out to charge it. So you don't get a separate uh, sort of charging sort of battery. Uh, which I believe Ring do. For me, I feel like it, it's a sm small little thing. Sometimes people may think, you know, when you're charging it, you've got no security camera. You know, it's, yeah, I, I get that. But obviously, you know, once, once it's charged, you don't have to worry about, you know, um, connect, make sure that it's connected to the mains or for, for it using any sort of electricity like the whole time. Um, so yeah, it has its perks. I mean, yes, I mean, like I did say, I mean, I will eventually hardwire it. Um, so I will eventually do that. But for the time being, it serves its purpose. I don't mind charging it every so often. Well, when I say every, every so often, I mean like every month. I don't mind charging it because it takes a couple of hours um, to fill itself up with, with, its, with its electricity juice again. And then um, it's ready to go. In terms of if I were to recommend it, I would definitely recommend it to family and friends. Hundred percent to recommend it. It's it's a like I said, it's a fantastic bit of kit. And everyone's got smart devices these days. You know you can you can see everything from your phone. You can either pair it up with Alexa, um, Google devices as well. But yeah, I mean that is pretty much everything that I wanted to sort of go through. If you guys got any sort of questions or anything of that sort, please comment below. Um, like I said before, this is my first YouTube video. Do comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and there'll be definitely many, many, many more videos to come. Let me know what you guys think. That's it from me then, guys. My name is Junaid, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.